One of the things that I wanted to do today, I didn't want to start off with just a typical sports story because of the kind of things that have transpired. I thought it was appropriate today to start with the passing of the great one himself, the one and only Willie Mays. The San Francisco Giants electrifying Say Hey Kid who died yesterday at the age of 93. The center fielder was baseball's oldest living Hall of Famer. Few were so blessed with each of the five essential qualities for a superstar. Hitting for average, hitting for power, speed, fielding, and of course, throwing. In 1950, he joined the New York Giants, who later became the San Francisco Giants, and in 1951, hit 20 home runs for the team as a 20-year-old. After the 1951 season, Mays missed most of the 1952 and all of the 1953 season because he was drafted into the U.S. Army to serve in the Korean War. After starting his career with the Birmingham Black Barons in the Negro American League, Mays, a 24-time All-Star and a two-time All-Star MVP, played a majority of his major league career with the Giants, except for his final two seasons with the New York Mets. He batted 301, hit 660 home runs, totaled 3,293 hits, scored more than 2,000 runs, and won 12 gold gloves. He was the Rookie of the Year in 1951, was twice named Most Valuable Player, and finished in the top 10 for a league MVP 10 other times. His lightning sprint and over-the-shoulder grab of an apparent extra base hit in the 1954 World Series remains the most celebrated defensive play in baseball history. To baseball historians, to data analysts, to folks addicted to numbers, there you have it. When I think about the passing of Willie Mays, I think about something else. I think about Muhammad Ali. I think about Bill Russell. I think about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I think about Wilt Chamberlain. I think about so many great former sports stars, iconic figures, individuals who were revered for years, who had to deal with so much vitriol and venom because of bigotry, because of racism and such. Ask yourself for a second to imagine what it was like to be born in 1931 in Alabama. Think about that. Think about the fact that Jackie Robinson desegregated baseball, becoming the first black individual to play in Major League Baseball in 1947. Then think about this. Three years later, Willie Mays, the Say Hey Kid, went from playing in the Negro Leagues to being the only black player in baseball in interstate league play. He was the only black player in the entire league. Think about the venom and the hostility that he was subjected to. Think about the bigotry and racism he was subjected to. And then recall those numbers that I read to you all. Talk about adversity. Talk about having to endure. Why do you think we love Serena Williams so much? Why do you think we call Muhammad Ali the greatest? Why do you think we spent so many years revering the greatness of Bill Russell, who was not just a great and a champion as a player, but as a coach as well? Because he did it in Boston. And when you have the level of adversity that they have faced and you succeed anyway, that is when true GOAT status comes into the equation. It's when we have to take a moment to sit up there and say, greatest of all time? Yes, it makes sense. And I'll throw one other thing out at all of you, because my father, God rest his soul, used to remind me of this. Willie Mays being drafted into the Army and being denied the opportunity to play because of his commitment to service in those two seasons still finished with 660 home runs. You do understand, ladies and gentlemen, that if that had not happened, consist considering the pace that he was on, it would have been Willie Mays who surpassed Babe Ruth as the all-time home run king, not even Hank Aaron, who ultimately did it in 1973. It wouldn't have happened. It would have been Willie Mays. That's how great he was. 
That's how great he was remembered by the baseball community over the last 24 hours. And it's how he will be remembered forever as arguably the greatest baseball player who ever lived. Clearly one of the greatest of all time in any sport on any level and deserving of our reverence and our gratitude. That's Willie Mays. God bless you. God rest his wonderful soul.